They're all online. Okay, cool. this is actually the last match left. I guess J Nails don't know. Play Pastor Hippie uh, and TJS Chess at some times, sometime when I didn't realize it was going on. So I did not get to cover that match. Apologies. So but I'm joined, going to be joined. This in, is in our last match to Chuck, determine the final now. four in the under 2000 and section. Also Already in the final floor. On, in the final four are Tana Streetlight and Blunderman One, um, J Nails and Don't Know, and UK the Goat and Florence Girl. So we covered the UK the Goat Florence Girl match, uh, and we covered a, we've covered Tana Streetlight and Blunderman One in an earlier match. Uh, I I I don't think we covered their latest match. Um, but yeah, this is going to determine the last of the top four in the under 2000 section. Is there anyone familiar with the way the tournament is organized? Uh, yeah, I, I, I got you. I got you. So I guess what I'm wondering is, is the under 2000 the same as the open section in that is there going to be a round robin at this and point? Scary Snakes is team? Crimson Vortex. Yeah, no, the under 2000 is going to be single elimination the entire way through. Entire, um, oh, okay. So, so in other words, the, the final four... Uh, so we're still going to have a match between two of the final four and a match between the other two of the final four to get to our final two. And then that's just going to be it for the championship. Those two are going to play. Uh, there, there will be a third place match and we actually only have prizes for the top three. So that will be a very in, important match to determine who walks away with nothing and then who walks away with a, the third place, place prize. Very interesting. I actually suffered something like that uh, myself uh, in the Buckhouse World Championship in Berlin. There was one year that I finished fourth place, and the top three, I think the top three got like trophies, and fourth place got like a certificate and <laughs> like, I, I don't know, uh, maybe doubled our entry fee or something like that. But I would have rather had the trophy. Whereas when I won the the losers bracket, we got trophies for that. So full of losers okay. bracket trophies. Yeah, and I did fail to mention we will be giving them fourth place, not one, but actually two high fives. Um, so they, that actually is, is nice. a lot. Here. So there's high fives on the line here. Um, yes. But not not this match in the a subsequent match. There will be high fives on the line. Um, yeah, this is a chance to play for high fives. Very 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 important. So. I I believe I'm still following Kirka Chess Champ, and I don't see them playing right now. It's so I believe starts yeah, all, right now. Yeah. All, all of them are online, online, but one's in a game. One's okay. in a standard game. Okay. Um, I don't. Play, I think one player is not online yet. Uh, I see. For some reason, it shows all of them online for me. Uh, is Mike Chesser on there? Oh, Mike Chesser is not online. I, I am McLovin. Yeah. Oh, I am McLovin has placed a wager, even though he has he knows very little about bug house. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> shameless gambling is what I came here for. <laughs> so yeah, I was, I, and honestly, I know nothing about these teams either. So I was gonna check the spreadsheet to see what the ratings are and the seeds here. Um, so let's see, we're looking in the under two thousand bracket. Um, a Nigerian Demon and Kirka Chess Champ are actually these two seeds seem very similar to one another. These these seem to be the closest seeds. This is what four and five are playing each other. They're also very close in rating as well. Which yeah, you would expect. this is this is going to be a close match. This is probably going to be our closest match to the under two thousand section. If it happens. Um. So Mike Chester uh, posts in chat. 15 minutes ago, and he said, I'll be ready in 10 minutes. Um, okay. So he was online recently, so I assume he will be here shortly. Um... Excellent. And so have the... So we we figured out our final four for the open section. Uh, I guess we could talk about that a little bit while we wait. Um, let me pull up that ladder. And most of these matches in the last round were not close. They were uh, not quite blowouts, like every I think everyone got on the board, but 
it, they they were matches that came down to like eleven to three, eleven to two, that sort of thing. So our final four in that section are twelve teen and chicken cross road, JK Jr. and Gogo Burritos, uh Caspi Israel and Pure Essence, and Little Plakin and Grind Returns. And yeah, congratulations to all those players. These are incredibly strong teams and they all deserve to be in the candidates. Absolutely. And I think those were our top four seeds. So that's who would be expected by the ratings. But interestingly, um, when we got to the earlier round, Casper Israel and Pure Essence versus Clock King Switcher and Return to the Lagger, the Lagger's team was so good at hyping themselves up that the channel point uh, the channel point predictions as far as the betting on the game was lopsided in favor of the underdog team. So it was like 97% to 3%. So those of you who bet on Caspi, Israel, and Pure Essence uh, won a lot of channel points. Which was so me. I, yeah, I don't think that was just hype, though. Like, I think there were a lot of reasons to think that that matchup would be close. And, like, even still, like, I, I, I think Caspi and Pure Essence are very strong, but I, I think they're clearly a class below these four teams. Like, I, I think... Like if Cassian Dress inside end up facing like like PK and then Midnight Fox or like like any of the other teams, I I could very easily have seen them uh, being defeated. Though I, I might still end up favoring them slightly. Um, I I think it was entirely reasonable to um to predict the King Switchers to win that match. Like like regardless of any hyping that they did. And I think if we play that match over a lot of times, it's going to be much closer. And and I wouldn't be surprised uh, if if the King Switchers like win a lot more. I, I mean, mean the, I, the problem I is they're both the legends. I mean, the, gonna win it. the problem is both Caspi okay. and Pure Essence are legends of the game. Um, they, they, they are. The, the, the other problem for the Lager team is that uh, the the Israeli team have known each other for probably a decade, and they played a ton of games with each other. Uh, they know each other's styles, uh, and Caspi Israel is also often underestimated. Um, so. Uh, I mean, I played with him in Berlin, and I was surprised by how how well he finished. Like every time I saw, it. and you really shouldn't be surprised at this point because he's a very versatile player and very strong at chess. Uh, he's an international master and strong at bughouse as well. He has a lot of experience. I mean, if you look at actually the the eight semifinalists, they're basically seven legends of the game and Gogo Burritos, and yet Gogo Burritos has shown <laughs> he can he can handle. Any of these guys? He's been. I mean, you saw he was up against. Was he was up against you, wasn't he, Crim Crimson? I mean, he was a nightmare, wasn't he? Oh, I, I, I was trying to repress all those memories. So thank you for bringing them to the surface. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and it's and it's really it it shows how fast you can improve at this game if you put work on into it and you play a lot. So. Um, the Gogo Burritos, uh, otherwise known as Raven from the Discord, um, I I watched him partner in like Little Plocking when he was a fourteen hundred. I watched him partner in um, Miss Fairy Queen when he was a one thousand, and he was begging Miss Fairy Queen to partner him. And I so I I distinctly remember jumping in a Discord call and listening to them partnering, and uh, and Raven wanted her to keep playing with him. And she demanded that every time they lost the game, um, and they were like the clear favorites in the team they were playing, but every time they lost the game, uh, he had to give her 10 Discord flowers. And he he owed her, I, I think I think he owed her like 500 flowers by the end of the series. So, <laughs> I mean, but I mean, that's trial by fire. I mean, if you want to get better at Bug House, you got to play a lot, and you can't mind losing, and you have to have a lot of Discord flowers ready to pay your partner to keep going with you. Oh, if I got a flower for every time Gogo -Go defeated me, oh, I would be a rich man. I need to set up this deal. We can make this happen. Uh, okay, I, so I guess the the real question here is like like what's going to happen in the matchup between jk burritos and and plot and grind but like i guess us first if anyone believes that casting for essence will, will win a single match uh uh i well i i think every team in there is gonna take games versus every other team i, oh, yeah. I honestly don't think there's gonna be any clean sweeps like like you, you seem to say that um 
the 12 teen and chicken are like a level above uh J Kid and Gogo -Go Burritos and also a level above Plot and Grind. And then you're saying Plot and Grind and J Kid Jr. uh Gogo -Go Burritos are a level above uh Caspi Israel and Pure Essence. But even Caspi Israel and Pure Essence versus 12 teen chicken, uh, my money would be on them taking a game off of them. And we'll see if yeah. that comes past. But I, I think these, okay, are, we're off. these are all champions. We are off. Cool. Predictions? That's a good... I, uh, I'm not able to see the prediction market as far as how it turned out. Uh, I guess maybe you guys can look at that. Maybe I can pull it up. Let me try. No, I was just asking you all like who you think will will win this. I, match. I have. I honestly have no idea about these teams. I think, okay. I let think me tell you. Let me tell you what the team Nigeria will win. Right, right now, uh, we have the Mike Chess Mike Chester team with eighty nine percent, and the Nigerian Demon team with eleven percent by the Channel Point predictions. Uh, Which is interesting because that that's a very lopsided prediction market when we thought these teams would be quite close. So maybe maybe the people wagering have gone and done a lot of research and found insights that we don't have, or maybe they're all degenerate gamblers. Probably the latter. Well Queen Quintex F six F three here for a Nigerian DM. Uh like this is like a typical like E forty five position where black yeah, like like you have to um like you have to deal with the pressure of this pin on f6 and he sort of just tried to like counterattack with the pin on f3 but but like white is way faster here okay we have to play like h6 or something oh well now now that rooks come i i don't yeah, know the, how black so, survives so, so we have rook at h8 as a mate and we have knight at h6 as a mate it's hard to defend both and even if we could defend both i mean you're not taking this free queen which is, like I, you know the queen I, I think is getting played, not queen takes impossible. queen Oh, uh, yeah, because this just didn't work because but... knight at h6 now is just mating. Yeah. But like the point uh, was, this... even if we had like a queen on that square, like like knight h6 was still going to mate us. Um, Yeah, so uh, he's not playing the most accurate mates, but he's still going to mate, like for sure. Yeah, Pawn back and then rook in, it's just game over. Okay, six mate, yeah. Uh, can we insert queen takes g4 to flex? That I think that we could actually. I think his partner is safe enough that they could have done that, but better not to. <laughs> I, so, I wholeheartedly disagree. Always flex. So queen takes, <laughs> king king takes g4, and then what? Pawn at f3, and like, like surely you're making And king h4? I hope so. I'd... <laughs> well, then, then I can just play the mode that I should have played two moves ago and just play rook <laughs> at h6. <laughs> and then he blocks on h5. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have like pawn g3 don't yeah. make me calculate no, you know i don't like doing this okay yeah. we flex and we live with the consequences yeah so that is the life that we live brian is asking is this the first to nine wins i believe that's the case yes so the first to nine. okay yes and, and when we say the first to nine is it the best out of 16 meaning that eight and a half would work as well or does it have to be nine like could it be eight and a half to six and a half yeah. Uh, no, because so you have to win by a, a margin of two. So a and half, six and a half. Like it's still possible for me to win um the next game, and then after sixteen games, you won't have a margin of two, um because it would be a and half, seven and a half, and you only have a margin of one. So it takes oh, nine okay. points to clinch the match. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay, I I understand. So actually, the Nigerians under fairly heavy attack oh. in this one. No, no, we just allowed mate. Just knight but h3. There's mate, knight h3 for Kareka. Yeah, he he missed this also, mate. I don't know how he yeah, misses king, it. King h1, rook takes h2. He has to just I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a greedy guy. On Nigerian de demons board, I would have pushed the h pawn to try to get the rook involved. Oh, he's, he, oh he had a rook, but he didn't see it. Uh, yeah, he's, I mean, still the, he's still going to mate here for sure. Uh, oh, really? Uh, um, uh, maybe not. Yeah, that okay, is okay. This... Whoa, oh, no, what? No, yeah, Whoa, what? He... Yeah, I, I, I think we're still mating it. Queen takes was scary. So we're, I at, mean, we're at two to nothing right now. Two zero. Yep. Oh, those I... were two games that were very winnable for my Chester and SMR. Like, I think they need to just like defend for a turn, and then they had amazing positions. Like, like uh, after SMBAT opened the G file last game, or. Or was that Mike Chester? Yeah, after Mike Chester opened the G file last game, like if we just cover it, uh, like White had a lot of inroads on Black's position, 
with the the pawn on e5 and and, and like hitting f6. Like I, I feel like that was the only way to lose the game. Also, I think they were up material as well. Like I, I really liked uh, White's position there before another, we just made it. Another insight we should talk about is one of the teams seemed to be using the chat and the other does not, which sort of implies that the other team is probably on a voice call. So nice. Oh no, the they're team... they're both in chat, I believe. Uh oh, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. They're both in chat. That that would be a very important factor in a match that's already this close. My bad. I just saw two people talking, and when you pointed that out, I realized they're from different teams. So it was on, <laughs> it was on one board where I mean, one of them saying trades good, trades good, trades good. The other one saying trades bad, trades bad. I mean, trades Nigerian bad. demons in trouble. Makes sense. <laughs> Nigerian demons in big yeah, trouble. Correcto so... chess champ is very safe though on the other on the other board. Ooh, uh, oh, I, very I nice. Very this, nice. That's gonna well, be mate. Actually, this yeah, does yeah, work yeah, because the queen, queen, queen seven. Yeah, queen yeah. d seven is mate. Yeah, queen takes. Yeah, and then Queen here is checkmate. Assuming he finds... No, he didn't oh, find it. He misses it. He didn't find it, and now he's in trouble. Uh, well, that's the beauty of under 2,000 games, right? You're going to get all these exciting missed yeah, we, opportunities. Yeah, we didn't play Maiden 1, and, and now Nigerian Demon has an attack. He needs pieces, though. and, it, and he, Night, night, night mate for him. He hasn't got time. Night mate. He needs a knight. And, uh, and a bishop could help defend, I guess. And the knight isn't... Mating, yeah. So, so knight h4, king f1, bishop g2. Oh, he could have taken that with the rook. Uh, no, I, I like keeping the rook to cover f3. Um, okay. Now, now Mike Chester sits. I think, but okay, important like SM. Oh, uh, that was a sack. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, so uh, that makes Nigerian Demon quite safe. Yeah. yeah Although I, I think this is are heard in his partner. Yeah. Oh, oh this is oh, right. mate. Right. Right. champ, Miss Mate. Now he's Whoa. mated. Ha. Oh, no, he's, just, he's not. Oh, he's okay, 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 okay. So, I, so, this is again like Punnet D3, like it's just a check. Okay, now no, we're no, playing a bait. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so a couple major takeaways from that game. So players, if, if you're on the level and you want to improve, like one of the biggest things I think people need to work on is communicating. So like there, like um, Knight was close to mating us in bed and it was like very bad for him all game. And at no point did he say no Knight. Um, similarly, um, see Mike Chester, I think, was also getting attacked and, and didn't really communicate that trades were bad. And, and sure, strong players like look at their partner's board and, and track it, but... Like you should be communicating as much of this to your partner as possible so that they can focus on playing good moves. Um. I, absolutely. <clears throat> so Nigerian Demon has a very uncomfortable king. He has not moved his e-pawn yet, hasn't gotten that king's bishop out, and we're probably going to see probably knight takes e6 and then pawn at f7, something like that. Okay, he's going to continue developing, but that is a continuing threat. Yeah, now... Yeah, definitely now pawn at f7. f7. Knight takes... And then another knight would be helpful, but in the interim, yeah, he's just gonna push pawns, and eventually, uh, Simbat can get his uh, undeveloped bishop out. But he's oh. gonna continue D the initiative. D five is a very nice move. So a lot of players would have sat pawn at f seven, which was strong. But like, uh, you don't have to play a check every turn. He's just putting a piece attacking the light square, and like eventually, it's going to like uh, do wonders for his position. Um, so yeah, Mike Chester is losing the queen. We should not take on f6 because we've opened up the g7 square. Yeah, Karekas um, really strong. Yeah, because now here. we lose the queen and possibly at, also at g7. Life. He just needs a knight or rook from yeah. queen to mate. Oh, he doesn't wait for one. He he seconds down. That makes sense. Just keeps on attacking. Uh so Simbat would like to oh, trade the queen. Wow! Can't, what a mate! Oh, that's a nice mate. The two knight, the knight cube mate, two knights controlling a square. We are witnessing a blowout so far. We have so, four to nothing favoring Nigerian demon. I don't, I don't even know if it's like correct to to like describe this as a blowout because like like the Chester and, and uh, a Gekian team have been have had several winning positions, and even when they weren't winning, they were very good. Um, and they, yeah, it's just been a combination of, of not communicating. Yeah, I, I, and... I, I did mean a blow as far as the results, not necessarily oh, okay, the okay. character of the games yes, themselves. Yes, yes. But, but yeah, you, you're right. The games have been 
quite competitive, but they seem to always end in one direction so far, at least. So I I think part of it is like the um, Nigerian DM and Krakow team. They they've been oh, more that, willing to sit for pieces piece. to attack. Isn't that just just one a piece there? Yep, he didn't want to allow Queen takes Queen opening him up. Which makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so now yeah, Mike Chester should be saying sit. In that. I yep. I don't understand Kareka's last two moves. I we I feel like we lost Mateo and also made Mike Chester safer. So uh, yeah. And not only that, fed uh, the your partner's opponent who has a pretty massive attack. Well, mm. White does have a lot of diagonals to defend with. As in Nigerian Demon has a lot of a lot of defenders. Okay, this should be a one for their team. Yeah. Here, Rook at F8 for Mike Chesser. Or we could not do that. That's also an option. Here, Rook at F8. Nope, we are not we going to do that. Queen, queen takes Rook is an option. Oh, he's going to continue. The, oh, this this wins. That That's a nice find. That's made in one. Bishop takes. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Just than, because it's made in one yeah. does not mean the game is over. Have you learned <laughs> yeah, nothing? Sure, <laughs> But uh, Mike Chester and Simbat are on the board. Uh, so we have four to one favor in Nigerian Demon at this point. So the score should be at least three to two because Maiden one was not played in a game that they lost. And like arguably they should be up three to two because I, I feel like there was at least one other game where they, they should have won or they had a better position and then just like decided to die. But uh, but that that's a reason to be optimistic about this this match here and their ability to come back. Like Queen is looking trapped. Queen c6. My queen is safe plus solid. <laughs> oh, he's going to get to hit now knight at b5. Can continue tempo in the queen and pick up a pawn and a rook. Okay, now, now I'm not going to try to save the queen again. Because if you play knight takes c7, I should be sacking my queen here anyways. And if I'm going to sack my queen on c7, why, why would I waste the tempo moving wants, it to c6? He wants a pawn for h2. But he's not getting it. I guess we're not going to. Yeah, I don't like this because, like, we lose a pawn in a. So losing a piece for free is worse than losing a queen for a piece. Um, so I here agree. we just lost a rook for free, and we also lost a pawn with it. So we should have just given up the queen. Also, our king is on f8 instead of like if we had just castled there and let them take our queen, and then we like play c takes e6. Like we have more control over the center. Our king isn't on f8 and our H position. H H6 is weak though, and uh, Kierke chess champ seems to have a pretty safe king. Yep, was he spot? But I mean, it in less safe. Granted. All right, bishop ready eight or knight ready eight. All right, bishop yeah. d6. A lot of queenside pieces. Kierke is a strong chess like player. Pawn at e5 is reasonable. Ooh, I don't like that. Too many pieces on the queen side. He needs to yeah. it, I think the main problem here is like I feel like Nigerian Demon and, and Kareka are, are safe until the end of time unless they choose not to be. Which, I mean, they might. Yeah, so Kirka, that's, that's a nice move with an attack. Um, I mean, Kirka, he has a free, free pawn in a7. He has he has dark square threats. He also could just bend a move, just making his king safer if he ever doesn't have anything to do. Yeah, uh -oh. pawn at g3 mate, now. Mate, like mate threats potentially if queen comes, yeah. That queen is never coming Ooh. on the other board there. But we're, we're getting in here. I think he's so, I, I, I mean, mean there's like Bishop G3 and, 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 and then a new knight at H5. H5. But it, it, even then, I mean, this king has running room, and I don't think he's going to get the knight anyway. Okay, so. so I like, oh, so I want to go Bishop H4, and then, okay, Bishop at Bishop H2 now. Like, I want to cut off this king. So this is a real threat. Yeah, Bishop H2 is yeah, this, scary. Yeah, so this is like another idea that's like harder to see, but like we don't always have to check the king because now we've checked him back to a safer square. Yeah, exactly. If we in said started with bishop at h2 or just something to take away the g3 square like that king is stuck on h4 which it does not want to be 
Yep. Um, so Simbat is saying no knight at this point, uh, and a knight does indeed mate. Uh, knight at e3. Yep, and he's going to get the knight as well. Yeah, so I think that was a missed opportunity with Bishop at h2, but like it's it, that's a difficult move or, or like idea to spot. Oh, he didn't see it was mate um, though. He time. wasn't told it was mate. Partner didn't tell him it was a mating knight. Oh wait, wait, what? Wait, why? Why did we do that? What? Why did we do the things that we just did? <laughs> I feel like we did not have to. So, did not have to, but it happened anyway. So, so the score right now is five to one. Ooh, uh, strong move from Mike Chester. So F7. This, I, I feel like this would be stronger if we could reasonably expect pieces to come. Yeah, that's but true. But I feel like we just gave our opponent a pawn. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. I well, feel like hot, we said, take this from us. Well, you shouldn't have allowed takes F6, that's for sure, because now the bishop can develop. If, if he'd said it's, that bishop can never develop, then maybe. Still, he's like, even still, I am down a pawn. Okay, bishop c6 here. Um, and the idea is if you block on, on d7, then we take the knight. And if you go knight takes bishop, I go queen takes e2. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Wait, you need... Nice queen takes, but a bishop at c6 would win a queen. Ooh, that, okay, so that queen will, is going so to hurt the guy the trade. Or no, no, actually, knight can take. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm stupid. Um, so it doesn't really win a queen. But the queen trade... Okay. Would be quite good for Nigerian Demon, which is why Mike Chester is sitting. They have a time differential here. Now they're trading the queen. Okay, I feel like we didn't calculate this though, because we're going to play this check, and then we're not going to play any more checks. That, yeah, that, that uh, is all that we're going to do. It's fair. Oh, 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 drop, oh, drop the uh, piece. We are going to play checks. Oh, uh, well, you can count. On, maybe you can count on your opponent taking that piece when he shouldn't have. Because now this whoa, is a whoa, whoa. Sequence. Why did we go this way though? I, I feel like King D7 was set. Oh, he's just going to eat Absolutely. the ball. Oh, that's risky. Uh, I don't think. I don't think he's going to eat the ball for very long. Oh, that, that was a mistake. No, that was a mistake. Rook over was the move. Um, yeah. So now a rook would mate. Uh, the rook over doesn't work anymore now that D2 was played. Now he needs another rook. He is up time though, so. He can. So, t yeah, keep, keep going. Sorry. Oh, uh, I, I was going to say, uh, I, I was going to look for possible mates here. And I think, I don't know, I think you kind of need a rook. Maybe you can make these knights work, like knight at a3 and then a bishop in somehow. Oh, he didn't take the rook. I think he should have taken the rook, honestly. Yeah. I also think that. I mean, how else to touch down, right? Oh, I, I don't like this knight move. So this this makes it so that there is a mate if he ever runs out of checks on f1. Oof, I that's true. Watch out for that. Just blocked it off. Uh, he could just drop pawns till the end of time, though, here. Oh, Karek is having fun. Or here. until the end of his pawns. And meanwhile, his partner's winning whole queens. Partner surely has so mate. We one. need, like, bishop at, bishop at d7. Oh, okay. They're smashing it. Okay. Six one. So for everyone who wants to improve at Buckhouse, like um, th this is something like very important that you all should know. <laughs> when you are attacking, do not just play checks for the sake of playing checks. Like wait, hold on. They're, object they're, saying, they're saying they win because they don't understand it's first to nine. The score is six to one. So, uh, okay. So we're telling them to keep going. The score is six to one favoring the Nigerian Demon team. So hey, when you play. check your opponent, your objective should be to stop them from running to the scores that we want to go to. So that last game, we played a bunch of checks, which gave the Black King more scarce squares to go to, instead of looking for the checks that took away squares from the Black King. Um, and it, this is the type of thing that like takes practice to get um, better at. But I, I think in general, like players like overvalue checks. Like the majority of the time, they don't accomplish anything. <laughs> like you should only play a check if it's actually helping your position. And and in that game, we saw a lot of checks that helped our opponent much more than they helped us. 
So Kareka playing very solid again, but he's probably going to get a piece trap. Oh, he's winning a piece as well, though. Gosh. G4. Ouch. Yeah. Oh. No, I respect my man for playing, for playing G4. Oh, all right. I'm rooting for him now. <laughs> so I don't know if this, is, if this is one of you guys in the chat, but someone sent me a direct Discord message that was an invitation to my own Discord server, which I assure you I'm already at. So, how to defend f7 and mean on the other board? A nice position for. I right, do not take this, Bishop. Okay, thank you. Because yeah, the answer was oh. we go queen takes c3. Oh. He, uh, take it. he did take it. That's going to be game over real yeah, quick. Push d5. Yeah. Yep, yep. Now we have. No, he's going to go for a run now. He's going to go for a run. Oh. Right. Well, that, that's a good move. Uh, the is folks. not running very far. Uh, we have. Always play g4. Pawn pa pa check was fine there. Didn't need the bishop. Um, Ooh, now he might. Well, never mind. Uh, pawn mates. Wait, does that not? Oh, I'm sorry. He can go down. I feel like we can checkmate by accident. In this. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's kind sure. of the idea. Um, if, if every move is checked, then eventually it would be checkmate. Um. Well, Ooh. now we will need another knight. No, 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 no. Up. Oh. Uh, well, okay. Queens then move backwards, for... unfortunately. So, so he, what he should have done instead was play knight takes c7 to vacate that light square for an additional bishop. Oof. Yeah. But... That would have hurt. And then queen comes in with mate. Yo, as as someone who is horrendous at checkmating my opponent, I I, I truly empathize. <laughs> I, I have had many attacks that look exactly like this. Oh, and then the sadness pawn it before the. Uh, <laughs> this is the admission that I have done something wrong. <laughs> uh, I I think he should have taken that knight though. With queen takes knight, and then if bishop takes, he could have taken the queen. And now he's well, just. Well, why made would it. we start doing things that we should do now? Like it's. it's he takes the queen <laughs> with check, discover check. That's brutal. <laughs> oh, uh, F's in, F's in the chat for, for punnet before. Oh, now that oh, 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 oh. <laughs> who is going to get mated first? First, this is intense. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that that was close. The score is now seven to one. Crushing win. The Nigerian team. So the the ratings were all quite close when we looked at the registration ratings, but Nigerian demon is clearly a class above these other three, it seems like, as far as rating is concerned. I, I, I'd say Kareko is better than his rating, by the way. Okay. But, I'm, I'm not sure I buy that with respect to, to Bug Ass. I, he's made some, some questionable life decisions. That's, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, he's solid at chess. That's true. He's probably still learning Bug House. Uh, so, um, I have McLovin says, who's winning? The answer is the team that you predicted. Nigerian Demon and uh, Kirka Chess Champ uh, are winning by a margin of 7 to 1. That was a really good bet that you've made. They're fucking. Uh, that is correct. I, I don't know who said that, but that that's very poignant and, and absolutely correct. Luckily, this is not a family friendly channel, so <laughs> we're okay with that. We are not on Chess TV. Correct. I want. If the laggers are allowed to give commentary, you know it's not family friendly. <laughs> oh, dangerous! He's allowing takes f seven. Okay, I guess all the checks are pretty covered. Pretty oh. much covered. Okay, if, if yeah, as long as the queen shape thing does not come. Okay, so this is ah, bad though his king is on f4 yeah why is his king on f4? i think he's he drawing out the king i think this is worth yeah, it bishop at h3 but the problem here is is both uh Agekian and mike chester are attacking which means they both want trades and guess who's not getting trades <laughs> oh Kareka says i am stuck Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Uh oh. That Shout is out to an important Gekin. piece right there. Uh, up now his now the knight, knight will mate. Knight mates. Either yeah. place. Oof. That was bad. I was very fortunate that there happened to be a queen hanging because they both gave a bunch of material to <laughs> mate their opponents and were like, oh, I need more trades. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. We are, we're at seven to two favoring the Nigerian team. So, so who are you? It's our ITSRS, by the way. Uh, on chess.com, RST prep. Okay.
Ooh, hanging C2 as well. Hey, hey, hey. We did not need that pawn. Okay. Oh, uh, pawn it. Pawn oh, pawn it G2 oh. coming. Whoa. He should not have taken oh, that. He... No, yeah, no, pawn it G2. We can take on G4 and our bishop's covering on the diagonal. Oh, nope. That rook okay, is okay. going to hurt us deep in our soul. That's going to hurt. Oof. That indeed has left a mark. Um, was Queen of C2 so we, bad? Crimson? We even, it left a, a big enough mark that we had a sorry in the Eight gap two. from one partner to another. So, one more game could potentially end this match. <laughs> Mike Chester <laughs> says, seven more. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this point we can just tell them any number and they'll probably believe us. Like if we <laughs> say first to one hundred, I believe they will continue playing one hundred games. Correct. No, but Correct. I, I mean, we we just need to have our hats off to to the confidence of Mike Chester, where a bunch of people said one more game in the chat, and Mike Chester, who was the underdog team, was like, "No, no, no, you're wrong. Seven more games is what this is going to be." <laughs> I My that. man's is in firm denial of reality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the classic Bishop in H6. I don't have a pawn, so I'm giving a piece for no reason. <laughs> the classic no follow up. Um, so, um, actually, th this is good for the viewers because, like, pawn H6, Bishop H6 is like something you see very common. Uh, that that's very common, and the best way to defend this is you always take on H6, and then you place a knight on G5 to attack the piece on h6, um, or a knight on f5 if that's possible. Now, the only exception is when your opponent has a queen in hand. Because, for example, if our knight's on g5, attacking this bishop on h6, then a queen on g7 will mate us. Um, but short of that, then we're just safe, and, and we're going to either take on h6 or force the piece on h6 to move away, and our king is pretty dead. And if you let your partner bishop takes hold. pawn here. He, he still has bishop takes pawn. He could take g6. Yeah, that, that will kill. That will literally just kill. He he finds it. So he needs some. Yeah, so now he can play pawn takes and still have. Oh, okay. You can take the bishop. We can even push. Here. A rook will mate. Uh oh. He's going for queen. Cool. Queen there, there is the queen. But where's the mate? I don't see it. Uh, a knight mate. Oh, this this is good. To, oh, get the other queen in play. Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to live through this. Oh, queen g6. Oh, he's sacking the queen. Queen takes f4. Okay. Okay, so now like pawns will mate. Yeah, pawn, and oh, yeah, pawn, he's pawn g7, pawn f6. Yeah, pawn at e7 and pawn at g7 was mating, by the way. You block off the, block off the king and then mate. It was quite beautiful mate. Pawn at e7 in that position, but he didn't play it with his two pawns. So pawn at e7, queen takes, pawn at g7, king takes, then queen comes across to g8 and g6, g6 and then g8, mate. So Simbat is defending here. Um, we Yeah, he is. We are White's continuing to play. Pieces. White's about to get a queen. And now there's queen at d8, checkmate threat against Kireka. Uh, okay, so Oof. White Chester Oof. has now a Good maiden threat. Queen at e8 comes. Queen at e6, nice move. The king is going for a run. But what's the follow up? What's Doing the follow up? Pawn mate. Or no, pawn doesn't mate. No, what's the follow up? Two pawn, three pawns mate. One, One pawn mate, two, and the Nigerian. Boy. Three pawns definitely mates, yeah. But is there something else? But the, their Nigerian is up time, so he's going to sit for one pawn, and that might be the c7 pawn. Oh, you're right. Nigerian is just, just going to sit for, for king takes c7. Yeah. That would be mate. What? It's hard to defend. Impossible to defend, isn't it? Unless there's some trick. Unless there's some pre-move trick, like knight g6, and, and, king and takes c7. Knight takes rook. No. They say it was lost. We see Nigerian. Uh, the bishop also works, so he should not wait for the pawn and just put the bishop in. All right. Now he has a pawn too. Now if, he's just sitting. If connected, then this is not good. Okay. 
Nice. So that's oh, it. Nine right. two win. So Nigerian demon is is I guess quite a patient person because um, Nigerian demon, what all he wrote in the chat was pawn, <laughs> and like a pawn made it. Like honestly, if that would be me and I was in the random pool, I, I would have said pawn, 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 pawn. It mates. Take a pawn, 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 pawn. But he just said pawn, and his partner got it. His partner said, "Okay, uh, I'll get." So we'll see if we can do some post games interviews here. Um, but let me put the final score in the chat. The final score is nine to two. Uh, Favorin, um, Nigerian demon. So how do you invite people? Uh, Cr Crimson, how do you invite people? Um, I just put the link into chess.com chat. Oh, thanks a lot. So RSTP prep, T RST prep. Yeah, I haven't come across you before. That's cool. I'm going to give another shout out to OKZH. Oh, Kareka. Hi, he's in. Uh, Kareka, can you hear us? And are you, are we pronouncing your name correctly also? Yes, you, you are pronouncing it correctly. Cool. Excellent. Well, congratulations on your win. Uh, so you are one of the, the final four teams in the under 2000 section. And we, we covered we covered your match on my Twitch stream. And I think OKZH is streaming as well on his stream. Yeah, we, we had a double stream with loads uh, of people in chat. Yeah, so we'd love to do like a post-game interview if you're down for that. I think it's it's fine. Uh, I totally agree that uh, it won't shouldn't last for long because I'm outside the house. <laughs> I see. Oh, okay. So you, you went you went <laughs> on quite internet. you went on quite some king runs there throughout that game. I think your king, you know, covered a lot of <laughs> mileage during that match. <laughs> so it's only how, how much? Yes, it did. <laughs> How much experience have you got with Bughouse? Because obviously you're a very experienced Crazy House player, I know, on Lee Chess. So how much experience with Bughouse? I used to... Uh, Bughouse, I think I have two years' experience. I used to play Bughouse on Chess.com between 2016 and 2018 mm -hmm. at work in Office. Nice. However, because Office has Ethernet uh, connections, it's very stable. But then I think the IT guys at office had before me, so they decided to block all chess websites. I see. So I now oh, play. Uh -oh. I play uh, from home, so I use the the work laptop on on personal internet, mobile internet. Yes. However, chess.com is a bit heavy when you compare it with the chess. It is yes. Uh, if there's a, just a slight check in the network, it, it goes off and you are not able to see your moves. So yeah. before the game, I was having a, a few trial games with um, a Nigerian demon inside the house. And then I lost some games just like that. I, I decided to go outside the house and set up. So that's where I am right oh, now. And I'm so happy I'm into the semifinal right now. Yeah, congratulations. And yeah, so, great, have you played yeah. a lot with Nigerian and, Demon before? I've never played with him before. However, he's in the CNO uh, Liches group, so that's how I got to know him. So, and um, so who is he? It's, this is the first. This this is the first time we are actually playing together yes. in a tournament. Nice. And who is he on, on Liches? On that... Liches. Um, you you know him as Bio Miller. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, he's great. Yep. And were you communicating yeah, just he's quite... Sorry. He's quite fast. He's quite fast. Hmm. And were you communicating just by text chat like within the chess.com interface? Yes. Uh he he prefers uh WhatsApp communication, but I told him the network here it's terrible. I see. So uh, for for the purpose of this particular game for this particular match, I told him let's communicate in chess.com. Right. And he's not very familiar with the icons. I told him just press 
just ask me whatever you want i'll supply okay i decided to be the <laughs> i decided to be the sacrificial lamb i told him i'll suck whatever you want that's why the king was on those runs <laughs> there's a time he told me <laughs> he needed a a, a a rook so i played the bishop um bishop g4 as a gambit to try to gambit my opponent to attack yes. then afterwards i took the bishop on h5 and the opponent played g4 pawn push that's when i pawn dropped on g2 and took a free rook i remember that game it was crazy <laughs> That particular game, the king ran to the, from the king side to the queen side. Then my opponent missed mating patterns, even missed to capture the queen. Yes. Remember that pawn which pawn dropped on g2 yeah. is the one which captured the rook and became a queen. Yes. And that's, <laughs> the game took a very interesting turn of events. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe it. Oh my god, the king ran to the king side, went up to b five it was it was crazy i i actually enjoy king walks more than maiden um like it's it's just really satisfying when your king walks around the board and they can't mate you uh so love to see the king walks so for for the semi-finals will you try to get on voice together I, i i i don't think so i think we just have to sync and harmonize our in gameplay reason being by the time someone talks, it's distracting in the game. You have to lit- literally wait for him, and the game is only three minutes. Right. And considering our position, who are the seed one, it's a daunting task. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So do we have okay, any thanks further guys questions? for organizing? I think let me let me go back inside the house. Oh, okay. It's well, th- thank you so much for for talking with us, and we hope to cover your future games in this tournament, and maybe we can interview you again after a further game. Yeah, well but done. We really I'll, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll send you insights. the I'll send you the YouTube link when I put it on YouTube. Tuck also has a Twitch the Twitch link. I'll send you that as well. Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll share in in my Ugandan groups. Right now it's 11.58 p.m. in Uganda, so let me prepare to go and sleep. Okay, night okay. night. Good night. Bye. Bye. So it looks like in the Discord chat, I think Crimson Vortex had mentioned that he lost his internet, um, and he has not jumped in yet. So well, well, thanks, thanks be... Chuck and Crimson and Naveen and everyone else who, who, who was uh, joining in the commentary, in the sort of dual commentary. Yeah, sorry, I didn't comment it much. I'm, that's, that's I'm okay. in a series right now. Yeah, that's okay. Cool. So thanks, everyone. It's, it's, it's really fun having these big calls, and I know and Chuck really loves these too, so we should have these more often. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I love the big calls, uh, especially because I don't have to say very much. I could just lean back and listen to everyone else's insights.